Who's ready for SNASCast episode 20? Five! Two five. That's more than two four. Five, I sure one. am. We got the whole crew here, even though we don't. Uh, John's here. Jake's here. Zerg is here. For the second time in a oh! row! Oh! Oh, we got a double counter bonus! First guest since Robbie to be on a podcast two times in a row. Whoa! It's Congratulations. Like, thank you. I'm glad you made the cut. I'm Brad. I'm Grant. <laughs> and we're here to... Uh, uh, Entertain you for the time being with stories and sensual, seductive tales. I'm gonna, bre- I'm gonna breathe into the mic. A, a little personal. That was very right. seductive. Right. It was very um, seductive and sensual. My computers. Do we want to do that you know, to them? Clipping to that. Oh yeah. Because, um, well, this is uh, everybody. Before you do this, it's like a field trip. I need this. I need you to sign your consent form and mail it in uh, before continuing. Consent form. And we'll we'll can wait we, on those forms. Yeah, we'll can you wait. Even just stop the podcast. <laughs> if okay? like at some elementary school, it. like a parent, like a Go teacher wait. was not handing out permission slips, but fucking consent forms, <laughs> like, yeah. like a multi-page packet. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, all right, hey mom, hey mom. Oh, b- b- what's up, Joey? Oh, I just need you to sign this for school. Oh, you're going, you're going, you're going to the, you're going to, the, to sex world. You're going to the sex oh. world to the oil pits. Yeah, mom, it's real great. We're gonna learn about volcanoes. What, what is this about consenting? Oh no, mom, you should just sign it. I, I really want to go. Have you ever seen the the video of the? The black guy telling a story about when he was in elementary school. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He, uh, yeah. he and his fr- he and all his other black classmates went on a, a field trip to a cotton oh, processing yeah, plant, and yeah. they actually like picked cotton while they were there. <laughs> it's, it's just like, so like, like realizing yeah. it's like ten years legal? later. Yeah. I think <laughs> it is. It's just a historical field trip. That's all. It's a historical <laughs> field trip. Historical as possible. Yeah. You learn about picking are cotton. Be, are there going to be field trips in the future where you like? Help tear down Confederate statues and stuff too. I hope so. It's like retribution. <laughs> I want. <laughs> like you, you go to like field trip for like a construction company in charge of tearing down monuments. I don't know. I'd see that. Are they done with that sitting bull monument? The one that's like carved in the mountain. Is that a sitting bull monument? The one where it's the yes. It's supposed to be I sitting it was, bull uh, on a I horse. It was crazy, crazy horse. horse. Crazy horse. Oh, crazy horse. Yeah. 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 It's like the. the it's gonna be like the biggest carved like <laughs> statue what in the world. When it's I think they did like, a Dragon Ball Z's fusion dance and turned into crazy bull. Cause bulls are pretty fucking crazy. What, what, if, what if the contractor Michael showed Jordan up? Bulls are crazy. The contractor showed up to the to the monument. and He's like, guys, this is what are you doing? This is supposed to be sitting bull. Yeah. He's like. No, no, no! This is supposed to be Raging Bull! The drama! The motion picture masterpiece! It's just just a big copy of Raging Bull. (laughs) It's It's just Martin Scorsese giving money to to Robert De Niro. That's the whole statue. De Niro? That's a thing for money, De Niro. De Niro. It's it's Spanish for money. It is. Mucho dinero. Mucho dinero on SNESCast. Submit your money to us with your consent. Form with Fiverr. We'll, we'll yeah. put a Fiverr link. We'll put Google Fiverr. It'll just say, phone. like, we'll do a Jesus impression on your voicemail well, for $5. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> well, that's an actual what is, thing on what Fiverr. Does Jesus, what does Jesus sound like? What does everyone do Jesus voice? Hello, I'm Jesus. <laughs> She's got a peewee. I'm term. the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the son of God. Hi, I'm Jesus. Hello, I'm Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he's from... Howdy, Barbara! This is Jesus, wishing you a splendiferous day. Blessed be those who follow me. Thanks. Jesus. Give us a call back at heaven. I want Jesus to have a... Um, <laughs> Jesus' voice, man. Have a Scottish <laughs> accent. I think that would be preferred. I can't do Scottish. It'd be just like a, a groundskeeper Willie voice, but he's like saying all these like holy prayers and things like that. That'd I... Be good. Jake, you've been to Scotland. You can emulate a Scottish accent, I bet. Yeah, you've been there. Yeah, come on, Jake. Perform for us, monkey boy. Dance. Dance, Dance, monkey. Dance. Dance, monkey. Dance. Oh, just give me some haggis. Put some haggis. Fucking my father, God, give me some haggis and make me eat your Mary's bum hole. It's like we really got a Scotsman in here. Did you know they had to smuggle haggis in from Canada? into the U.S. whenever they did Irish festivals and stuff. Why? Because haggis was illegal until like a couple years ago. Wait, what, why? Because it has lung in it. Lung the the pluck, the, the bits in the middle of haggis are, a, it's just a shitload of a bunch of assorted organs it's, and one of it is is, is uh, lungs, which were I illegal for the longest time. I heard it's pretty good. Yes. Like I it, don't, I've never had it. <laughs> like I'd imagine. I eat it, it looks delicious. 
it's just it, bits it of meat not inside a stomach. Yeah, it does. It looks fine. D- sausages like I've the way heard British sausages people describe good. it as borderline inedible inedible food though who knows fun They're fact just, never listen to British people exactly that's right what do they eat I've never heard a British person like, in my life you it's shouldn't. just just static when they is start it? talking <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine like oh hey oh hey it's one of those one of those, uh, one of those British people hey pip pip cheerio god save the queen it's, it's, it's oh but they're all no, it, it, it's just like it's just like that scene in Spongebob <laughs> where Mr. Krabs takes like like buries the boots and then like people try talking to him and they just their voice starts squeaking. It's just that, but a British accent goes and it's just static. What if you were cursed and that's all you heard people say is squeaking? Like that, uh, I love Black. Isn't Mirror. that exactly what happens in that Black Mirror episode? <laughs> What's which one? Where they block the dude? Oh yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert not, for gonna... Black Mirror. Well, we don't want well, we to spoil it because Jake hasn't seen. We, we haven't that said the episode, episode, so nothing yeah. spoiled. Nothing Jake, spoiled. Jake has said he has not seen it. It's episode thirteen yeah. where where Marge goes to the bowling alley and embarrasses Homer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, after after um, episode twelve where they go to Undertale. Yeah. Wait, oh, in episode eleven God. where Wait, they Undertale. How did My the favorite, Undertale Marge? favorite is episode eleven where. <laughs> Marge, I can't I'm playing Undertale. That's my favorite Monty <laughs> Python skit. My favorite one is the one where they're they're talking to um, Cuphead, and Cuphead says, "Golly gee, you're bad at video games." And then they play Dark Souls together and smoke yes. weed. And then they smoke a bunch of pot. That's, that's they probably get next home. week's Simpsons episode. I would, you know, really Homer gets so, but there needs to be like way more celebrity cameos in that. <laughs> Homer gets so big. Homer over. gets so big that he starts like sipping at a Cuphead, and he's like, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing?" And there's a there's definitely like, a Simpsons sorry. episode where he gets like medical marijuana. He does, and it's actually there's yeah. a really Simpsons funny. Wave video where he's smoking weed and oh, yeah. he's like it's like he's tripping on acid or something. He's like oh, yeah. driving his car and there's like all this rainbow mm-hmm. shit. I like when he shaves his face and he's just bleeding and rainbows. Come oh out. yeah, that's pretty funny. He's just like quickly <laughs> shaved. That wasn't the same episode, was it? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, oh. I think I've only ever seen that clip though in its Simpsons Wave form, not in anything else. What I think actually there's a really good quote from the episode is uh, Homer. It's uh, the two of the two two quotes in the episode. One of them is. He gets medical marijuana. It's all right. Do you want the wizard of the skull? Oh yeah, they chose him the bong. Yeah, yeah, and then my other favorite one was like Lisa smells the weed and goes, "It smells like the art teacher's office," <laughs> which is funny because everybody had the fucking art teachers at redacted high school. Yeah, they smoked a lot of weed. No, if you're an art teacher at a high school, there's no way you're not a pothead. Like yeah, that's the only way you really can do that. Job. There's job. no way you're not I mean, a pothead. You don't do anything. Yeah. That's the only I've way you can get that job. I've never seen an art teacher job. actually like, do their job. <laughs> I remember our teacher for like the our like our teacher in uh, in middle school like for the last four weeks of the semester we had nothing else to do so we just watched Wallace and Gromit. That's yeah, like we just kept watching time. episodes of Wallace and Gromit for four. Do the same art teacher? Yeah. There was an art teacher that moved from the middle school to the high school like right when we got to high school. Oh yeah, I didn't take any art in high school. Thank God I didn't. Uh, art in middle school was chill as fuck. We made clay and then we smashed it. And- then yeah. we smashed. Yeah. Then we smashed. We smashed. Just the whole art so class just kid, started fucking. <laughs> some kid. I, I think I've told the story where the kid true. broke the safety glass by hurling clay at it. Oh, yeah. Tired of the fucking guy. Remember when someone got locked in that trophy? I painted my arm yellow in that class. Remember that one episode where Homer paints his arm yellow and then the, the joke is that uh, it doesn't matter because his skin is yellow? Yeah, what, so what if he painted it yellow and it turned skin tone? What if he painted it yellow and he turned into Peter Griffin? <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> like, like he, pointed, he painted his face and was like, Hey, hey Lois, do you want to play some Cuphead? And then they did played they Cuphead. Did they ever do a Simpsons Family Guy <laughs> crossover thing? Yeah, yeah they, they did. did. And they oh, played shit. Cuphead. It was fucking awful. <laughs> It was a it was a big bad. event. It was a big event, and then the episode kind of sucked. I actually have it on my laptop. If you guys want to watch Futurama crossover, <laughs> no, it was bad. Yeah, no. If you guys want, if you guys want to yeah, hear a really, if you guys want to watch a really really good video uh, version of that, where it's like a spoof, but actually like really, this guy did this video. His name is um on YouTube. I don't know what he still goes to. He used to go by You Can Know Joe. He makes really good animations. He did this video. I think it's called The Family Simp Reel, or like something <laughs> like that, and it's really great. Oh, it's crazy. it's. It's, God, it's, I can't even explain it. It's really good. It's only seven minutes. You should watch it, but it's a parody. I know it sounds really cringy, but it's just like a nonsensical bullshit parody before the episode actually came out. Like, uh, well, I mean, I, they, they've always like been, oh, God damn it. There's a cat there. Um, they've always been willing to, um, to go on this reel. I mean, they had Don Hertzfeld do a fucking like couch gag for that show, which is just crazy. That was, Don Hertzfeld did what? Don Hertzfeld did the I am Simpson. Yeah, thing. he, did, he right. animated yeah. a couch gag. It was really fucked up. Who's Don Hertzfeld? What did he do? He did um, It's a Beautiful Day. 
Oh, right. I haven't seen his couch gag. I love his shit. I've never seen that one. Is it good? Yeah. Right. I mean, there's been a... There's, there was like a whole Rick and Morty couch gag. There's a whole Game of Thrones good. couch gag. Fuck, there was a fucking, uh, like, Miami Vice parody couch oh, uh, gag. That was oh, actually the couch, couch, like, turns into a mecca or something. That was, um, for a show called Moonbeam City, which is actually... It, I, I, it's like bad archer with a okay aesthetic. It's kind of weird. Oh, know. that was on Comedy Central? It was very okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really like Archer that much anyway. Sorry. Uh, sorry. It's, so it's we, fine. This is our 25th episode, so uh, we get to do something a little special. We're going to count uh, 25. One. We, no. Well, okay, we'll do that later. Yeah, cast but, counts 25. Uh, so we've been doing this for 25 episodes, and we've only received one uh, fan email, which we got maybe like a couple weeks ago. Fan email. From... I think his name was Ron Ron Longbottom. Ron Artest. That's what that was his name on the email. Ron Longbottom. And That's so, good. Ron Longbottom, this one's to you. Uh, we're finally gonna answer your question. We should have done it last episode, but I forgot what was the question. Uh, so he just had one question for everybody, and it was, "Who are your biggest interests in life?" Just a small question. Interest but biggest interests or biggest influencers? Uh, influences. Oh, biggest influences. Biggest influences. influences. That doesn't make Shit. Sense. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll just so, go around the table. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go around the table. Can here. I have some extra John, time? who are your biggest no. well, influences? We you have a, we have a test jacket. Well, we have a couple members that aren't here. Right I didn't now. take notes for this class. I'm, I've been unprepared since. Some oh no! And I'm in my underwear. It's a bad dream again. Oh no! So and then it spirals out, and then I wake up, and then I go, "Oh wait, I'm actually late for class." And then I run down the street, and some pop punk music as credits roll down. Yeah. So Robbie and Jesse aren't here right now. Uh, that was a good movie. That Robbie movie? says, Don't, Robbie says his biggest movie. Oh, what's the fuck? Well, I'm s Okay, yes. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I shut the fuck up and listen. <gasps> I can't listen. We need to get this over with or else it's gonna be six hours long. Alright. Maybe that's a good thing. Robbie. Uh, Robbie says his biggest influences are, uh, he says, cheesily, his dad or grandpa. Nice. Uh, as far as professional influ influences, because he's going to school for architecture, he what? says, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Flank Lloyd Wright, <laughs> <I know>. or, <laughs> or Tadeo Ando, whoever okay, that I is. I, I, I honestly thought, though, in the context of the email, is that he meant, like, what podcasters were influenced we by, but I guess who cares? It it's, the, question is, the question is, who are your influences in life? So it could oh, be anything. Sure, sure. Okay. okay. Uh, Jesse says, um... He mentioned this was cheesy as well, and he says his siblings. Oh, that's great. And so he has this explanation he wants me to read. Now. Yay! So both, so both Almost. my siblings, both my siblings are doing super well in life. They both have really awesome jobs, doing what they love, and they're really respected and well liked, and doing these amazing things. I really want to live up to that, and I know it's probably a super unhealthy way to think and not really true. Oh, but okay. I feel like the pressure is on me to not be a failure compared to them. Pressure's yeah, on you not to be gay! I'm always pissed when my siblings, my two, well, I mean, I have two older brothers, I'd be really pissed if they succeeded anything. But <laughs> No, not, not in a, like, a vindictive way, but like... they'd be pissed if I succeeded at something. But overall, they're both just like really good people, well-liked and respected and happy, oh, and I really precious. am inspired to live up to their example. That's Insert dick joke to be funny man, hee hee. Okay, and what about hey, his professional dicks. influences? Big, big, That big, That was all he big said. Big monkey dissing. That's all he said. Jake, what about you? <laughs> Me? I'm not ready yet. You're not ready? No. Okay, well... With you, John. My biggest influences... I uh, should've... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 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 I mean, well, I'm gonna guess on three, alright? Uh, One, two, three. three. David, David Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, yeah. It's That's... like it's a surprise. But it's not really. Probably David Lynch is my biggest influence. <laughs> David Lynch. And Dropping them. Name okay, drop. John. John, it's... how many days would you have for mourning if David Lynch died? I, I don't know. I was thinking about that recently, and I was. Thinking, <laughs> I'd probably be pretty sad. <laughs> he's prepping. He's prepping. Your scenario, yeah. Just because of his approach to how he how he makes art um, is he doesn't he doesn't you know try to try to make things, he just kind of lets the ideas come and then rolls off of mm, yeah. Yeah. what the vibe is kind of thing. And yeah. I don't know, that, that's kind of how oh, I that's approach totally a lot of things. Inspirational. Sorry, I just got the scene of you like having this fucking dream where you just see David Lynch in a casket and you go <gasps> look and you, look, you, you look over you look over and you see this calendar next to a picture of David Lynch and you give it a smooch you go He'll live forever in my heart, Davey. And, and then, then you cross Lynch another just, day, a, another day after calendar. And David like, Lynch is just in the background yelling at him, like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> I can't do any good." John, do a David Lynch voice. 
they What are you doing? That's I the thing, know. I can't I can do, only do the I can only do the Do the Gordon Cole's Cole. voice because just yelling. <laughs> Yeah, it's very yelled. weird to hear him speak what? softly. I'll say Have that. you guys ever yelled at one point in your life? Yeah. No, yeah. never. I've never, ever. Never yelled myself. Nope. I heard about it. It's but against my belief it. system. I heard it's, it's a really fun new mm -hmm. drug. It's, like, it's, it's they're like doing the D.A.R.E. program at school. One of the drugs is just yelling. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's yeah. just an insidious way to keep to teach children to use their inside voices. Tell them yelling is a huh? highly addictive drug. There we go. And then eventually what happens is kids will just start fucking screaming at each other in the street. But it'll keep them up hot. Yeah. <laughs> just, kid, just kids. Can you imagine? Like he, they're, they're like buying like instead of like buying drugs like buying a bag of weed they're buying like tape recorders with like yells on them like or something. like megaphones. <laughs> just like yeah and megaphones. Especially the cops breaking out the door like yeah, we gotta yell they're, that. They're like trying to smoke, they're trying to like do yelling behind their school, but they're just yelling at each other with megaphones, so it's super obvious. <laughs> that Jake! Like, that is Jake! Have you wrecked your brain yet? Uh, yeah. My biggest influences are the people on this podcast because they're really oh, good at talking a lot. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, musical seriously, wise, my mean. biggest influence, or one of my influences in life is uh, Damon Alburn. <laughs> You're gonna have to give us a synopsis. I'm from sure. the Gorillas? He's from the Gorillas. He's also lead singer in Blur. He also made a project called The Good, The Bad, and The Queen, which is a really good album, and it's different from Gorillas and the Blur. And so, what kind Blur. of is it? Isn't Gorillas like. Uh, it's kind does of. Does he do most of the old stuff uh, himself? Psychedelic rock. -ish. I'll check it out. I love psychedelic rock. Yeah. Jake, uh, does the Gorillas guy do like most of his, the, his own music? Like, or like he's like. It's like a one man band style thing? Because I know that Dell. The funky Homo sapien voice is hey. Russell. Sorry, but I don't know if I don't know who does all the other stuff. There, is it just uh, the guy? Danger Danger Mouse did a lot of producing. Oh, okay. Uh, for Damon I just Alvin. never understood because I mean it's a weird concept. Uh, but he does a like band. he gets other he gets other people he gets orchestras and all that sort of stuff. But I can appreciate that. But yeah, mostly it's it's him that kind of organizes it. Um, other influences, I don't know. I honestly, my major influences are just like producers and stuff, like Cashmere Cat. He's, hey, he's a big influence. He's a cool dude. Like Flying Lotus. <laughs> Flying Lotus. Is a Flying Lotus is a good producer. He's just fucked in the head. <laughs> no, he's. That's the thing started. is he's no. fucked in the head. And Cuso like, was the most fucked up movie I've ever seen, and that was his. That was his baby. You know. The I mean, ability. He's good music. Because the thing is, like, the ability for him to do that and carry on through it yeah. and put so much effort into it, like, that's great. You also gotta love him for making, like, what's it, like, 95% of all the Adult Swim bumper music? I yeah, do, I would which say. Which is really cool. Yeah. I don't think he makes, I think there's a, a lot of different people it was, that make it. I thought a lot of it was him, but maybe I, I might be mistaken. He was a main dude that, like, he, what was the he album? started the sound of it. He made an album this recently, or it was two years ago, I think, where it, the album art is, like, it's supposed to be him, but there's like a giant hole where his face ought to be. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar had a really good track on there. Oh, yeah. That, that was a cool album. I'm, you're Dead. I think it has. Yeah, You're Dead. Dead. Do you have Astral Plan on it? It's, it, just, it's like from the, I don't know. the ABGF I think so. GN episode where he, what's the fucking game he plays where it ends where it's like, you and your friends are dead, game over. But there was, uh, yeah. and he just expanded out where it's like, you are dead, your friends you're are dead, dead, your family's dead. dead, like all this is horrible that, shit. Is that a Dark Knight reference? Remember in the beginning of Dark Knight where the, the bank teller picks up the shotgun and he goes, You and your friends are dead! Yes, it's a but, um, It is actually not. I wish it was, but it's an AVG, an angry video game nerd reference, which was a good YouTube man. So also, the Dark Knight reference to angry video like game nerd? Probably. Also. So makes videos. A AVG also, did a video on yeah. Batman and the Joker also, is the villain in the Batman movie. Also. Tying it together. Also. <laughs> also, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the artist... The, the dude that did the artwork for um, Flying Lotus's new album, You're Dead, or his most recent one, is a Goro artist. It's a Goro. Goro artist. What artist? artist? Goro. Uh, Shintaro Kago. What's Goro? Uh, Goro. Goro. Is this is this is this is this is Goro this is from MK? No, this is Zergi's uh, this is Zergi's um, degeneracy corner. So oh, is this like porn? Like yeah. Oh, so yeah. Guro is a awesome. which is Guro is Guro. the um, Guro. It's uh it's Japanese for um, 
Well, I know it's gore porn. So watch yeah. people just get their fucking... So I saw Guru at the ripe old age of 13. This is about a couple months after I saw her jerking out the girls in bikinis. Yeah. Um, okay. I did not jerk off of this. I saw it on a forum I went to, oh uh, mom and dad. But, um, so I... But so help me, he tried. He tried. <laughs> I did. I gave it the good old-fashioned college try, and then I cried. No, it's just like people like <laughs> cutting really... themselves and ripping their guts out and shit. It's Got pretty it. fun. It like, gets me so hard. Mind. Gets me so hard when a bitch gets her tits ripped off, man. Dude, fuck that's off. so I mean, cool. I can kind of understand some fetishes. To no, some that's just extent. that's except yeah. when they go like full Poughkeepsie tapes and people oh, are yeah. shoving balloons up their asses. If, but like, that's if, weird. Yeah, if you ever that's get that's not weird. It's pretty it's destructive. weird. It's destructive. It's if you, unhealthy. If you ever get weird curious, is, destructive is and weird are pretty synonymous. If you ever get curious and go on your friend's computer and see any of that on there, you might not want to talk to that person. Oh, also, yeah, they might for, kill you they were gonna kill people. Notate oh, all of the exits in the room. Also, if he's giving you a lot of liquor. Drink all of it and then leave, because it means free Yeah, liquor. I mean, hey, like, honestly, like, like at what point do we not, like, file looking that looking at that kind of shit, like, it's like a serial killer, like, what do they uh, call it? Delinquency? Not delinquency. Serial killer, well, like, like, deviancy. That's what? what they used to call it, like. It's definitely like, deviant deviancy. behaviors and stuff. I don't know, that kind of seems like thought crime to me, because, I mean, I yeah, think. Yeah, like, I suppose, but, I mean. I don't know, I've seen, like, horror movies and, like, mangas and shit that have really gory yeah, shit. Well, yeah, like, I think. I wasn't watching it, I wasn't looking at the get off. I guess once you, what if you, like, compo I guess once you com start compulsively looking at, like, snuff porn, like, three guys, one hammer, or whatever, that's when it becomes kind of fucked yeah. up and deviant. It's fucked up to think that, like, if you. Okay, by the way, if you're going Snopes, Snopes is like. Do you guys know what Snopes is? Oh, fact checking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a. Snopes. It like talks about like urban legends and yeah. shit. And they were like, if you go on there, it's like, no, haha, snuff porn isn't real. There is never at. And I'm like, uh, probably. This article's sure. from like 1995. Oh. Like, but it's like, how can you say like something like snuff porn isn't definitively <laughs> real? Like, there's gotta be one fucked up mind who's. You know what's good? You know what's awesome? There's seven billion people in the world. Never seen snuff porn. Never seen decapitation videos. I've never seen people die. Lucky oh, man. for you. I've you gotta try it. It's the you exact it? opposite of John's <laughs> life. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's all I do. John's like, John's like, well, I'm not saying you always watch it, but it seems like you have the largest repertoire of live leak videos. In like, middle school, memory. I used to go on 4chan all the time, and I used to, you know, I used to be one of those guys that was like, yeah, I watched Three Guys One Hammer. It didn't affect me. It was, it was fucking cool. Like. Did it affect you? It did. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some real How shirt, did that dude. not affect you? I remember the first time. Anyone. First time I watched that video, I just sat there f for twenty minutes in silence in my room, just staring at the wall. Like, jeez. Uh, that's like when I first saw Guru for the first time. I vomited and shit and shook. Oh, I was nice. like 13, yeah, because 13, 13. When you're a little kid, especially a little kid like me, my parents wouldn't let me watch R-rated movies and stuff. Yeah. Well, so, you, you just skipped seeing like a dude get stabbed to a fucking dude get like. Mutilated. Shot in the brain. Yeah. The big old gun. I guess in fairness, cut off. there are really fucked up horror movies where worst happens, so... So when you're a kid, yeah, you, you, you realize, like, oh my god, if... Like, I, somebody could take a chainsaw out of my neck and take my head off. Like, what? I actually... I, if you guys ever... If you guys ever just, like, went on, like, the internet, like, I was on, was was on a website the other day. You, ever, you guys ever see something like, oh, I'm scrolling past something that is definitely illegal to own and post. Yeah. yeah, it's really. I'm like, I, and then I'm like, I was like going to bed and I'm like, shit. Ice cream truck? Damn, holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with people? Max yeah, people are fucking yeah. stolen. So like, your influences get stolen. Uh, yeah, is that yeah. all you have to say, Jake? Since that was so important to say, my you have to stop everybody from talking. My influences. Um, <laughs> my fucking cat. cat. Yeah. She's a G. Your cat's <laughs> your cat's Sadie. <laughs> Uh, she's an influence. No, she's are we just talking about influences in our life? That's, That's what the question said. Um, GF, Who are we on? You. Your GF. My GF. GFs are Your influences. Girlfriend. Jake has a girlfriend. Girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Long have a girlfriend. distance relationship yeah. over in New York. Yeah, it's tough. But it works. You see her and shit, don't you? Yeah, like more than once oh every year. God. A couple yeah, times every year for like a lot. month or so. That's pretty good. Yeah. Can, I mean, and the thing is, is I have to take off work for that, so it's not like, so it's like, then. But you don't ride the bus anymore, anymore, thank God, right? Like you no. fly. You rode the bus the first time, dude. dude it was was that? See, that's the it thing. I mean, it wasn't as bad as people. Can I hear think about this story about you taking the bus with your GF? And your I, okay. That's the thing. I, I've been on the mega bus for like, like a five-hour, six-hour ride. He was on a like what, fifty-two-hour bus ride. Uh, it was only like, it was only forty. 
46. Only oh 46. Only 46 hours. <laughs> Christ on sale. Anyway. Fucked. Was it worth it? On the mega box? Yeah. I mean, of course I would say yes, but it. I mean, yeah, but it's just like, what well, the fuck? Man, I was, because so after that I was, I was able to stay in New York for like 20 days. Oh, that yeah, sounds pretty cool. cool. Yeah. It's pretty fun. It was really pretty fun. sick. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, in New York, it's kind of like by New York. Um, it's a suburb, oh, like, like a kind bur- of right outside. So they don't live in a borough of New York? No. Just, okay. Well, like, technically. They don't live under the street. Oh, it's sewer. literally like, rat, are you doing a rat folk? Are we in a Skaven? Are you, are you Skaven GF? Yeah, definitely. Nice. Like Skaven. Yeah, they're pretty you Shout out to all my Warhammer Fantasy fans, uh, all the zero of them listening. They're probably a so whole anyway, commune in New York. I knew her for like sewers. five years, and then we're like, I, I was, we were I like, oh, most I, I always liked you. And she was like, I always like you too. And then we were to, and then we kind of like online nice. dated for five months or so. Lit. And I said, oh, I'm, I want to meet you since we've been together for a while. Yeah. Didn't you Didn't you meet on Minecraft? We did. Yeah. She ran a <laughs> Minecraft server. Thank you, Notch, for bringing together people from across the world. Thank Making you, new relationships. Notch Thank you, Notch. Piece of shit. Fuck you, Notch. The Fuck thing you. is, so I was 12, Fuck and that was the first server I went on to. And she, she ran it. She was like the owner of the server she That's ran it from her home girlfriend computer. owns a minecraft server that <laughs> she owns wow <laughs> it's the nice wow it's wow. the first thing i put on my omega bio uh, is uh, my girlfriend runs a my girlfriend. server <laughs> yeah anyway yeah so i played on that was a server that i played on all the time and uh yeah. she stopped running it a couple years afterwards but sad. we still talked um Good. and then yeah so i, I went over there it. on bus on a bus on a bus and uh, the bus ride wasn't that bad. Wait, wait, did, wait. Did, were you inside the bus or on top? I was inside the bus. <laughs> okay. Inside okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um, I mean, it just Mega Bus has such a cast of characters on it, you know. It does. There In was this way? person. There was this person who took. You can reserve a seat. Yeah. He took my seat, and I was like, "Dude, that is my seat. It says it on my ticket." And he's like, eh, eh, eh. "And I'm like, man, oh, this is my. Look at my ticket." You fucking idiot. I didn't say this. Yes. But I was like, look at my ticket, you fucking idiot. Yeah, there you go. I'm not racist. You're black and I'm what? white, but like, this is my- I- I paid for this fucking seat. I didn't say- I didn't say that exactly. <laughs> but was he- did he- did he drop But you were very cards? clear. You were no, very clear. No, he didn't. Did he move? He didn't. No. Nashville. Jake. What's Jake, what? you were very clear though. I'm not racist. Yeah. I'm not racist. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not racist. racist. I said- Okay, first of all, I'm not when have white people- Ever ask black people to move in the bus? When? Name one, <laughs> one fucking time in history. <laughs> yeah. One. Fucking one. Exactly. God, it's not even, you know, just move. Just move yeah. to maybe maybe the back would be a good yeah. place. So anyway, so I paid these extra, like, it was an extra, it was only like $2. $2 or so for a reserved seat. Yeah. But I paid for that reserved seat. But this what dude refused to move. You so say mega bus, man. He's, did, he's got no Why don't you just take his seat? Well, because he, there was general pleb seating, oh. and he was supposed to be in the general pleb seating. Oh. And I was like, this is, this is my seat, it says on my he was pulling a, He was pulling a Reddit life hack. Yeah. <laughs> if you're sitting in the general pleb section, you can just walk over to first class. Like, yeah. Who gives a shit? What are they going to stop you? Just beat him up. Yeah. Egoism at its finest, my friend. Just you be like... Anything you want to. It's you know, your will against theirs. Do you know how much karma I have on Reddit, Okay. Okay, buddy, I deserve this. Oh, buddy, 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 before you fucking continue, my inbox is blowing up right now. I have Reddit gold from that post. Wait, thank (laughs) you, kind stranger. Have you seen how many upvotes I've gotten? Jake, I thank all the kind strangers. I hate Reddit so fucking much. For, um, was the bus mostly crowded? Like, or was there a lot of empty space on the bus? There was a good amount of empty space. Because that's the thing, I feel like at some point you'd just be like, ah, fuck it, move to somewhere where there's two empty seats, and then just kick back. Yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. That would make the... 46 hour ride bear. I mean, that's what I did. What did you do? What did you do? You listen to music? Did you listen to podcasts? Yeah, I listened to music. You listen to our podcast? I listened to music. Um, By the way, if you're going on a 46 hour Megabus trip, make Snazcast. How many hours? Snazcast is your exclusive Megabus podcast. How many hours of Megabus? How many hours of footage? Footage? Audio we have? Uh, Total, would you say? Well, the average length of our podcast, I think, are an hour and a half. Yeah. So if we have 25 like, of them... Well, 20, so you, let's say 24 of them, for yeah, simplicity's uh, sake, so we have 36 hours. So you could watch that yeah. in-flight Jason Statham movie, or you could listen to the SNASCast. You could listen yeah. to the entire SNASCast and still have 10 An hours. An in-flight movie Wow, dude. Anyway. Hey, I'd save that for movies. Dude, when I was in, I was in fucking Peru, 
and we went on a, uh, we had to take a bus across uh, a huge stretch of it. And it was like a mega bus. It was like a double decker with really nice seats. Mega and, bus and is they had a movie. They happened. had a movie. And you think it would work like in flight movies and planes, where you everyone has their own headphone jack and you can listen to it if you want to. If not, you can just be like, ah, I fuck it. I'll still play on the screens, right? It was a Spanish dub of uh, Soul Train blared at like full fucking volume <laughs> for the whole train, so you couldn't avoid it. It was the shittiest thing ever. First of all, the movie Soul Train is terrible. What is Soul what Train? It's, what it's Spanish dub, and it's just a bunch of people running around <laughs> screaming in Spanish at full volume. It was terrible. What is That's Soul Train? Soul Train is, um, it's like a, it's like a Soul Train. It's like a pink or a purple colored plane that has all these weird shit on it, and it's like, I don't know. I I haven't seen the movie like a million years. Has a, it's, it has like Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart. And what Tom the fuck was this dubbed in Spanish? And a bunch of like hip. Just because like I don't know. They, that's the, that was the movie they had. Movies are always and like and Spanish. most people on the bus. It seemed like most of the Peruvians who were on the bus were laughing and think it was hilarious. And, like, and most of the other like white people on the bus were like, "Fuck this! Like this is so fucking obnoxious." Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess because we just couldn't speak good enough Spanish, so we didn't but, understand the movie. But even then, it would. It was so obnoxious. It should have been like every other plane where you just plug your headphone and you just... You know what? I would have enjoyed that. That'd be dumb. Can, I would like it if it was... If it wasn't Soul Train, but instead it was... Oh, did I say Soul Train? I said... Yeah. I thought I meant Soul yeah, Plane. Yeah. Oh. I think Soul Plane. Okay, fine. Is that what it's called? Well, Soul, Soul, Train, Train, is song, is, right? Soul Train is the disco show where they that's would... Oh, Soul yeah, that's right. Yeah. Late it's probably also disco. a song. Yeah. It's probably also a song, yeah. So it's just a... It's a spin-off of Soul Train. Pretty much. I suppose. It's like, it's it's like, a it's like Jefferson Starship, the Jefferson Air Trip, Air tri Airplane. Excuse Jefferson me. Airplane. I thought Jefferson Airplane was an actual band. They are. Jefferson Starship is the shittier version. What's Jefferson, the, so Jefferson, Jefferson Airplane, Airplane is the psychedelic rock. Jeff right? Jefferson Airplane made uh, White Rabbit, yeah, um, and, and then Jefferson Tony Starship. And shit. Yeah. Jefferson Starship made. We built the city. Oh we built yeah. Built the city on rock and roll. Which is Favorite. fucking terrible. It's yeah, a fine song. Shit. No, it's not. It's terrible. We built this shitty. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, that, is the, that is the Jake Good Joke burn. Alert! Whoa! So God Jake, dude. Jake lights Damon Alburn, Fly Low, and Buses. Those are your info. Buses, buses. And, uh, the, cool the bus driver that rode you oh, to shit. New York. Yeah. Best, my favorite producer right now is Luke Tennyson. Luke Tennyson. Is Tennyson? What, no, Tennyson's tennis? good shit. No, I like Tennyson. 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 Yeah. What's his sister? Is he uh, Tennyson. Tess. Gwen Tennyson. <laughs> Sorry. It's Ben Tess. Tennyson. It's Tess. No, can I go back to me? Gwen because Ten. I think Ben Ten is one of my greatest influences. Yeah. Yeah. John, I'm going to you. Take it away, John. That's why I built this Omnitrix. Wow. That's what this is. What? That's a really? fucking... You dude, built it Omnitrix? Yeah. I mean, that's fucking actually, sick, dude. But dude, it, test it, it out. Only, it can only turn into the, like, the little gray guy, and it's uh, kind of stupid. No, that gray but, guy is really smart, though. <laughs> Yeah, why do you want to be a nerd though? That's yeah, because if you because if you turn into the super intelligent version, you could finally watch Rick and Morty and understand the deeper the right. deeper Thank subtext. You. Thank you for reminding me why I built course. The deeper intrinsic. But um, I don't know. Uh, so I went, I went to New York on Megabus. Went back on Greyhound. Which was Greyhound better. is way better. I uh, it's Greyhound. Greyhound more I, well, I never been Greyhound, but we had when I was still going to Madison. What I would take coming there and back from. Uh, Minnesota was uh, there was either Mega Bus, which you got if you were unlucky, or there's Badger Bus, which had like actual Wi-Fi. It wasn't a double decker bus, so the sh seats were shittier and it felt more compact. But it was just a all around better ride, and it was all other students too. So there wasn't like like one of my Mega Bus rides. It's a fucking five hour ride, and I swear to God, this bitch bought unlimited minutes just for this ride because she was talking on her phone the whole time, <laughs> for five so hours. fucking loud. Yeah, come on, some people want to enjoy their bus rides. They want to enjoy staring out the window without hearing any that. human speech. This was any human straight speech up obnoxious. She was this getting high over the yelling. This wasn't even. Yeah, there we go. Noise. She was getting fucked. Dude, she was doing yelling. This yeah, was not dude. an ASMR video. She was just being a fucking obnoxious woman. Hey she man, it was atrocious. I'm gonna get high if yelling next time I go on Mega Bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're gonna do cheesing because it's fun to do. That's true. So hey, there, you have a there, cat. who are your influences? My influences. Shit. Yeah. It's yeah. taken oh, us this fuck. long um, to get to influences. Who influences. My influences. You? My influences. Oh, if you shit. can't think, we can jump to Brad. Uh, yeah, yeah come back to me, Brad. I'm gonna influence you right, right now. I'm gonna say Ooh. this. I'm gonna say this once. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's and go. twice. And three times more. 
I can. It's Eddie Van Halen. It's Eddie Van Halen. I know. What? I like Van Halen. That motherfucker hey. invented 80s hair metal, okay? He's, he's Van really Halen good. 1, Van Halen 2, Women and Children First, Diver Down. But what about what about David Lee Roth? Fair warning. No. 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 Fair warning, no. no. <laughs> it's Fair Warning, then Diver <laughs> Down, then 1984, what? then 5150, <laughs> then OU812. Holy shit, you don't, don't list out all of the fucking... He's no, going to do it. All of them. Brett, We're do doing it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. After OU812, oh, it's, uh... For God's sakes. Shit, I know You know this. You know this. Ugh. You studied for weeks. That's true. That's place. true. You trained for this, sir. You can do I'm it. I'm leaving you. For unlawful car carnal knowledge... Sure, I'm gonna go. say that's right. Then, then I'm gonna well, say the live see. album, uh, live right here, right now. Okay, go! And then, oh, then Balance, then Van Halen 3, then... Oh. For then God's a sakes, different kind of true, and yet. then live in Tokyo, 2015. But why don't you... Why don't you... I don't know, he can be a fuckhead. I, I, really, I like his style. Though, I like Daily like Roth's cool. yelps. Like, yeah. All right! Like, yeah, he has, he has a really nice up, vocal range, honestly. Like, I like him, but Van Halen, you know, is a big influence for me. The first thing I learned was Eruption, the solo. I suppose. Not that and, uh, Oh, sorry. God damn it. I'm, I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Sir, you, you thought of something? Ah, oh, shit. Um, Brad, can you think of anybody else? Not at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Just no. it's Van Halen. All you need is Van Halen. That's all you need. Oh, um... New Beatles cover. I have I have a few. Not a lot of people I think about all the time. Um, okay, well then they're not really important, so... Oh, really? Just skip. Did you say a well, few no, it's... on Hulu that you really like? <laughs> a few like, shows a on few... Hulu I love all the time. Seinfeld, <laughs> one of my greatest influences. What's the deal with the existential angst? Uh -huh. That was one of the episodes in Seinfeld that made me really look into oh. myself. Um, oh, nice. no, but, uh... I don't know any Seinfeld. <laughs> Shit, Another contest, I, I suppose. Inspirations. Um, oh, um, really famous guy, my grandfather. Um, so, can, can I tell a story about my grandfather? Yes, sure. I so, guess. my grandfather, um, Richard, or as he likes to be called, Rick Roach, or as people knew him, Papa. So he'd be Papa Roach. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> So, it, was this just a roundabout way to say your greatest influence is Papa Roach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just Second, Kid Rock. Third, Mudvayne. Four, Biscuit. Five, Biscuit. Wrong with me. Sir, nothing wrong with me. No. <laughs> um, what's up, that? <laughs> nothing wrong with me. Two. Um, so, my grandfather was, um, so, so he was, uh, he grew up in fucking the South. Um, during the Great Depression, uh, Oklahoma specifically, and he was oh, poor shit. by Great Depression so he standards. Fucking Oki. He was an Oki, 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 and he was poor by Great Depression standards. Um, by Great Depression. Yeah, standards. he was a fucking poor ass dude. His 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 mother left him when he was a child because, you know, uh, they got divorced. This was being divorced in the 1920s. So they oh, fucking damn. hate each other. Were they other. lynched in the street? They were, <laughs> yes, I don't actually exist, I'm a ghost, um, yeah. you're the, so, okay, twinkle in so, your great So do you go to California yes. and hit the gold rush up? So essentially what happened was, um, so my parents are also old, I have, I have older parents, my parents, I am, I'm 22, my yeah. father just turned 65, so you know my, my grandfather, weird? what? I just noticed my parents are older than me. What the fuck? They're, they're like, like they're, they're like 20 years older than me. My so parents are younger. Me? My dad's 17, loves Limp Bizkit, and he calls me a fag, and he punches me in the shoulder. <laughs> I would be impressed if a 17-year-old, like, like, in this year, was listening to Limp Bizkit. Like, someone born in the year fucking 2000 what if you was had listening to Limp Bizkit. <laughs> Still. What if you were so weird? What if you were, like, 32, and you had a stepdad that was 17? That'd be oh. awesome. I'd hang out with them. <laughs> one of my neighbors, one of their kids, uh, has... Influence him to like, smoke weed. One like. of their kids is, uh, is like... <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Like, they have, like, they had one son much later than the other one, so their youngest son, uh, his fucking nephew is, like, almost as old as he is. So That's really weird. weird. Yeah. My brother is in his, my brother's in her 30s, and I'm only in my 20s, so I mean, I've got, I've got a little bit of Cool. What? But anyway, oh, yeah. so, um, my grandfather was poor by Great Depression standards, his, his parents got split up, um, yeah. and... His father um, left to go dig ditches, I think, and his mother was like, took his took his sister with him, nice. and he's like, "Mom, can I go with you?" And she's like, "Oh, Rick, you're too stupid and ugly." <laughs> and then left him nice. with his grandmother. Um, well, he was around, too stupid and ugly he, to be fair. Yeah, totally. You know. But uh, no, he was. So what happened was, <laughs> when my grandfather was, I believe, around the age eleven or twelve, he lived with my grandmother. Um, 
and uh, around that age, the circus stopped by the, the train tracks by his house, and um, this guy at the circus was like, hey kid, you want a job? And this is years before my grandfather went senile, this is not bullshit. So at the age 12, he ran away from home and joined the circus. Yeah. Um, his boss was a black midget, I believe he said to me. Um, and then when he came a back home... Black midget as someone's boss in the 30s? That's, yes. That's just progressive. Very progressive, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he told me a story of when, um, when his first nights he was there, he heard this fucking horrendous screaming. Mm -hmm. This fucking, ah, from the Kate, from like, you know, inside. And they're like, and they're like, what the fuck is that? And then someone's like, oh, they're hosing down the fat lady. They're oh, yeah, just fucking no. hose her down. So anyway, um, and then he also, Jeez. and then he came back, and I believe he, he was in almost this, like, 1950s, but it was, like, 1930s, like, gang, where they would shoot each other with the fucking, like, with, like, BB guns and shit, um, and anyway, he, he joined the Air Force, um, and served our country, um, during World War II, um, and then married my grandmother and he was just a really fucking cool dude so he was just that was like weird how he, the person he married was your grandma no. it could have been anybody i know it really. ended up being yeah i know right wow. yeah. very strange very strange but uh my thing is is that he was this person that was incredibly capable he did incredible things in his lifetime you know he he raised two wonderful children um he was a great husband he was a great father he was you know a great man um and i guess i was just really inspired by him because you know he had a really fucking hard upbringing he was, you know, had a terrible upbringing. He could have turned the drugs, he could have turned the crime, but he didn't. He turned out, you know, really, really like a clean cut person. The thing is that he didn't let the shitty situations in his life get down on him. He kind of, you know, was still kind. So I don't know, he was, he was very strong. He supported his family and friends and loved them, but it was also very, you know, very kind, gentle man. And that's honestly like, he's my greatest role model in my life. Wow. He's um, starting to inspire me. Yeah, he's a fucking cool dude, man. Everyone's grandpa usually, unless they were like a mean drunk. And even if your grandpa was a mean drunk, he probably was still kind of cool in a weird, distant way. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, that was really good. yeah. Well, but, I mean, when when it's your son, it's like, oh my god, I have so much influence over this child, this being. But when it's your your son's son, it's like, I don't know, he's not going to see me every day. Fuck exactly. Yeah. I'm I'm going to die in a couple minutes here anyway. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I would say, so he's definitely up there. Um, for actual, like, for people that aren't for famous, um, I'm really inspired by... Jaden Smith. Yeah, his he's tweets. A, just a true... Yes. Okay, just fun fact, Jaden Smith created the Just Water, uh, you know, uh, corporation for creating, like, you know, water with, like, you know, More clean water. containers. <laughs> oh, no. okay. What? But, uh, you know, clean containers as in, like, you know, containers made out of paper, and they actually sell oh. that at the place I work at. Nice. Is it just carton Wait, water? Yeah, carton it's just water? carton water, and they sell Box it at water, my store. Like in, uh, Box coconut. Coconut. It's God. called Just Water. Liberalism is a plague. Um, sorry, that was... <laughs> water. That was not a conservative what statement. A, what a creative... Um, Creative name. This was not a conservative statement. Just Liberal water. Liberalism is a plague. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I mean like neo. I mean like hyper capital. I'm not getting into this, but I, <laughs> selling water is bad. You can't sell water. Stop um, selling water, guys. For my 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 inspirations is like famous people. Um, I mean they're semi-famous, but um, <clears throat> the people who make this podcast called the Penumbra Podcast are incredibly inspirational to me. They're a group of people who just make these fucking fantastic modern day radio plays um the people over at dead signals who make uh radio plays like archive 81 um are incredibly fucking inspirational to me um the folks over at last podcast on the left um really just got me into the idea of just making you know just doing stuff like this just talking um yeah i guess that are there um, any other podcasts maybe you want to mention no no, and no, it maybe no. starts with an S or a... Snazcast. Sleepycast. No, not Snazcast. That, that thing, those no, uh, also, Sleepy Cabin, obviously, fuck, there's, everyone in that entire group is really talented. <laughs> yeah. Except, uh, Shad Man, you're a piece of shit. You're, I think yeah. you're a dirtbag. Shad, you're a fucking fuck dirtbag. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you make really good art, like, you're artistically talented, but you fucking suck. Talking about the Sleepy <laughs> Cabin guys, uh, uh, Chris O'Neill. Oni is a really big influence. Yeah, to me. yeah, totally, definitely. Um, he's he's just I don't know. He, he's he he's you can tell he's in his element when he 
is totally. doing like one of his animations or whatever. I think they're so inspirational just because they're such funny dudes, but they just like like they all lived together in a shitty house and they were poor as fuck and they still like just cranked out shit. And it was just it's nice to see people who are my age that are suffering but still making art. Cause I see successful people make because like I see successful people make art hand hand. But still making art. Yeah. I mean, it is cool. It's people doing what they like, but they're fucking dying. Cause like, making but they're art fucking is dying. <laughs> making art is suffering. Holy shit. Um, Those people who work for the Peace Corps, like, they're doing a good job, but they're gonna get fucking murdered. Like, I, I mean, it's I possible. You know, the Peace Corps. You work in like Sierra Leone, maybe. Uh, yeah. Grant. What? I you got some more. Oh, just... so I, I mean, I, when I, I first some more... saw the question, Grant. I thought it was like, what are our biggest influences in the, the podcasting to, sphere? Right. So I was going to say Joe Rogan, because, okay, like, I don't really listen to Joe Rogan's podcast, it's kind of ridiculous, um, but anyone who's listened to it knows that Joe Rogan just has this weird quirk to him where he's, like, incredible, he's just hyper-curious about everything, and he's always had these, like, very wide, broad variety of guests on his show, and, I mean, yeah... A lot of Joe Rogan fanboys are like follow his yo psychedelics are gonna change the world and fucking MMA is the greatest sport ever. <laughs> uh, like that, that that's what Joe Rogan talks about a lot. Like I you know teach his own. I don't care what he what if there what was, he likes or whatever. But what if there was an MMA league where the participants had to take psychotropic drugs? That be they would just hug. That would like the ground. they just cuddle. They just put <laughs> each other on the on the yeah. on the mat. But uh, but Joe jokes. Rogan just <laughs> it's so easy to emulate the way Joe Rogan talks and some of my favorite green texts on 4chan are like just parodies of Joe Rogan on his podcast. But can, he, can you can you do a Joe Rogan impression? No, no. But it's I, so I, easy. I can't, I can't, you can try. Well, I mean, just like people, um, like the way he speaks. people just the way he like he'll just jump from topic to topic. Like again, he'll talk about like psychedelic drugs and then he'll transition to MMA and then he'll transition to some conspiracy theory and then transition it to like fitness. And then maybe do an ad for Squarespace or some shit. And then right when they come back, he's like talking about like a gorilla ripping apart an alligator or something. That sounds pretty cool. Like he's always wow. he's always like looking. He just seems like the kind of guy. There's just something about um, how curious he is about everything. Like he's so he can he's the kind of guy who can carry on a conversation just about anything. He's just he's really good at asking questions. He's a really good listener, I guess, when any of his guests are on. The fact that he was able to even somewhat understand what Alex Jones was even rambling on about when he had him on the show <laughs> is, pretty attest is a testament to that. But, I don't know, Joe Rogan's always just had this, like, hyper-curious attitude where he seems like he just... He just has this thirst for knowledge. Like, not in this, like, asshole, pretentious way. Like, he just wants to be smart than everyone he's else. Curious, but he's just, he's like a guy of experience, you know? Like he just likes to it. experience a lot of different things. So, I've only I guess heard that. The, yeah, I've only ever heard the Alex Jones podcast with him. I don't know about professional influences, because I'm not an artiste like most of the other people in this room, where I don't, like, make music or anything, I guess. But, I mean, in terms of what I, my hopeful career path is, which is being a chemist... I don't know. You can create new chemicals. Niels Bohr is pretty cool. Uh, Heraclius is pretty cool. Uh, Richard Feynman, even though he's not a chemist, is pretty cool. What about what about the dude who made Flubber? <laughs> oh man, Robin Williams. He's wait, what's his character's name? Uh, okay, I'm gonna Google this. In the movie, doesn't he have like a fucking like a drone or some shit? <laughs> Sadie's gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, she Sadie. Did Sadie fuck up the podcast? No, no. it's still going. Okay. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. I, that's what I thought the question was. That was the answer that I had prepared was Joe Rogan. Well, so I'm just one. gonna stick with yeah. that. I don't know. It's really stupid. Like, again, Joe Rogan is really memed out now. Again, just talking about MMA and talking about psychedelics the way he does. But... I don't know. He's just an interest. He just seems like an interesting fellow who's interested in ba in anything you could throw at him. You could talk to him about like knitting in the 18th century, and then the next minute you could talk about like like modern architectural like hairdressers or some bullshit, and he would still be interested or at least sound interested. Guys, That's, I think important. Yeah. I would just like to point out. Yeah. The character in Flubber is Professor Philip Brainerd. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. uh, we we won't say why. Uh, uh, that, that no, you're a friend name. Just redacted. remember that that's significant. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking flubber, man. No, that was a good answer, though. Honestly, I feel kind of. I don't know. I mean, I felt. I don't care about what what my answer was. I just thought Joe Rogan's a fucking weirdo. He's just. They, I don't know. A guy who like hosted Fear Factor and seemed okay with that is 
there's something about that. He just seems totally okay with what he does. Like, I doubt he makes that much money doing the podcast. I know he does, like, a lot of, um, he does a lot of, like, commentary for MMA bouts and things like that, but I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you're rich, when you have too much money and too much time on your hands. Is how to much do that kind of shit? How much money does Squarespace have to like to give out people? for these fucking people? Yeah, I don't no know. Idea. Enough to like Squarespace I, I and Audible. I don't like, know. Do, I don't even know how many podcasts also, have ads like that. Fucking stamps.com. Also, uh, you can go to Squarespace right now. Squarespace.com and make your own professional website for your business. And it looks really nice. Hey, just or just take a fucking class on it, you moron! Or why not listen to HTML an audiobook? HTML 101! Why not listen to an audiobook on Audible, where you they'll charge you a lot of money to listen to an MP3 file. Just have a, your grandma read it, doofus! How much money is it? Your <laughs> fucking money is yeah. Audible. Dude, that'd be so big. I actually don't know how much money just Audible is. Put some vinegar on it! Dude, it's probably are... affordable. <laughs> like, buying, trying to buy books? Books are not... On fleek, they're not millennial. Books are not cool, okay? Stop downvote, downvote, downvote books, downvote books, downvote books, downvote books, downvote books. Downvote books. I have a Kindle in my backpack. Books are just okay. I get a book. I can have an actual book in my no, backpack. Guys. Books, they're so fucking expensive on Amazon. Like some classic books and things so like that library. are like ninety nine cents, and you think, mm. okay, that's a great standard to have. Some of them are like fifteen fucking dollars. Yeah, because it's popular it's, book. It's ridiculous. No, because I was I wanted to buy uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep after we saw Blade Runner oh, yeah. because I wanted to reread that book again, and it's fifteen fucking dollars. I don't know if that's just because the demand goes up, or because they only have like one print of the book. Legit, I'll tell you why. E-book. It's because it's they can. Char- it's it's no, it's, it's literally so stupid. It's because they can charge that much and they feel it's justified. Yeah. I know. Literally, there is no reason why one book should cost more than another. I've actually gotten into no like there's like forums where you can find where people have like found alternative ver- versions of books that are like ninety percent cheaper. So I wanted to get uh, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Book was like twelve bucks, and then I decided to buy. The French version that is translated into English, which is actually a more accurate translation than the one I was going to buy, is fucking ninety nine cents. Is that just public domain? That's awesome. What twenty thousand leagues? Yeah. I no, I don't think so. If you can charge twelve dollars for a publishing of it, then I doubt That's it. Really dumb. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. But you know, those are books, and books are boring. All right, guys. So seven colors of wisdom. Though. That's a good one. Sure, what are your more more influences? influences? Right. All right, I'm gonna talk about my my great great. Uncle. Well, who would well, his his name is Andrew Father Pink. Steve. Grunkle Drunkle. Born, born in the great, beautiful city of St. Paul. He lived there, nice. you know, first, like, 70 years of his life. He, he was a pastor. He, he's been a pastor for, like, like 70 years, you know. And Wait, is he still alive? No, he, he died a couple oh, years ago. Oh, because you said he has been a pastor for 70 years. He was a pastor for many years. Now he's, a, now he's a ghost pastor. Then, then he moved to Arizona. <laughs> Oh, he moved to Arizona and he became a gun-toting, you know, like, <laughs> rebel that, you know, actually... Wait, wait actually? Was yeah. Great, was, was, was it great, your great uncle? Your My great, great uncle. What he, time period was this? This was, uh... 1846. Like, 1940s, I guess. Oh, it was close. 1946. But, you know, yeah. he, he lived to be 101. Holy shit! What? Very fucking old, you know? He had a bunch of, like, That's old vintage old. guns. Well, you know what happened? You and he, he had foundations. He like, didn't eat bread he, or milk. He, he created was 101 them. bread? He was yeah. 101? You know what happened? He saw that movie 101 Dalmatians? And he's <laughs> like, he got I'm gonna idea. die then. <laughs> That's, that's what I'm gonna number. die. That's what people do, right? It's a shame. I, I watched the movie number 23, and I was like, that's what I'm gonna die. He donated a shit ton of money to Flagstaff, Arizona, and he had in the uh, had his own school there. He created his own school. Holy shit. Where they teach teaching. Japanese kanji? Exactly. To weebs? So he was like Paul Dano in that movie. In Paul Dano taught Dano Japanese kanji? Fun. Yeah. I'm really confused. I remember that scene in There Will Be Blood where he's doing his whole oh, yeah. uh, sermon in Japanese. He was a well, he was a well respected. And Daniel Day, it just cuts to Daniel Day Lewis. He's just sitting there, looking completely disappointed. Sounds like an edit you'd find on 4chan. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> Someone could make that right now. I'd be very, very. I gotta give a shout out too to you know Sleepy Cabin and Welcome to the Night Vale is one of my favorite episodes of a podcast of all time. You know they really inspired me to you know really jump on this. Mm-hmm on this podcast and to really make a difference in the world and to have my voice uploaded to the internet <laughs> so I can talk about my opinion. Brad, you could do that on your own, you know. Yeah. Just set up your laptop speaker and just talk about whatever. Talk I'm about, doing that right now. You know, oh, there you go. And about the newest, the, the last point. Also, my band. Last point I watched. My boys. Yeah. 
Uh, my four, my three other boys in this band that we have, Maple Sun, got I mean, two other, two. Yeah, you don't have the basses to your. He's the bassist here, but here. my boys yeah. are Maple Sun. They've inspired me to, you He's know, really up my music, like my, you know, my writing game and music. You know, take a music theory class and actually just learn my shit, create new riffs all the time, and to just excel my my playing as as much as I can. And yeah, I really appreciate it. So that's that. Yeah, and just to round out my influences, other than David <laughs> Lynch, jump. Um, I actually look up to a lot of comedians. Mark Frost. Uh, well, Mark Mark Jerry Seinfeld. Well, Markiplier is a good Mark one. Markiplier. <laughs> Markiplier. PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Jack Septicai. Oh my fucking <laughs> classic those guys. Classic Septicai. Classic Top of the morning intro. to you, laddies. This is Jack Septicai. This is my intro or something. I want them all over here at once and get them drunk. No, okay, but I was gonna say. They should be feed them wet paint chips and put them in a barn. No, I'm gonna feed them Tahitian pancakes. <laughs> feed him spaghetti and bears flavored kettle chips. I was gonna say Norm, Norm McDonald is I a love Tim and Eric. Too. Yeah, Norm Tim and Eric. Eric. Tim and Eric have been a huge influence for me. Tim and Eric. Are Tim and Eric big, too. Yeah, yeah they're oh, so fun. Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric three. Eric Andre. Yeah. Er, okay. Er, Eric everybody. Andre too. Everybody. It absolutely is a great inspiration to me because when I was I was a weird fucking kid. Now I'm a weird fucking adult, but I can like <laughs> pass it off. Yeah. When I was a weird fucking kid, I remember I was in fifth grade and watched Tim and Eric Awesome Show and fucking loved it. And I tried to talk to people about it, but I was too socially inept, so I couldn't express it. But I kept kind of like being okay with my weirdness and then eventually I met people who liked it and honestly like the people who just are super fucking weird and do really weird shit I just yeah they're they're huge inspiration to me because they just kind of mm. they're okay with being goofy and weird yeah I generally enjoy uh, abstract kind of projects oh, m more I mean the there can be abstract projects where they just kind of fall apart because they're too crazy and weird and they just don't make sense. Yes. But the projects that do, you know, try to reach out there, you know, and and bring across their vision no matter how weird it is. That's kind of why, like I what, like David Lynch so much is David Lynch kind of treats whatever he's working on as its own living, breathing thing. Almost like developing a child, kind of. Like you start with the initial thought. You get the skeleton out, and then it just starts kind of filling out itself. It's, it sounds he, no, no, he's a very yeah. talented. Yeah, it sounds weird that way. Like no. it's not that simple. Wait, but what were you talking about? Talking about David Lynch, how he kind of oh. makes things <laughs> and writes things. I would also like to say an influence of mine, um, or it's not even an influence, but it's like someone that I think is really respectable is um, um, Ralph Bakshi, who was a cult animator in the 1970s. Cult um, animator. Cult. Mm -hmm. Called animation animator. So he made animations and they were. Um, he made, his most famous one was uh, obviously Fritz the Cat. Oh, really? Which oh, is. Really? Oh, one I of that my. Was a lot older. No. Fritz the Cat is super old. The, the yeah. comic... Isn't that like a 1930s thing? No, you no think no, it was you're comic. thinking of. Uh... Felix the Cat. Yeah. Felix, sure. So Fritz the Cat is a 1970s movie. If you've never seen it, um, basically like a porn movie. It is. It was the yeah. first animated it's extra like heavy movie. heavy metal esque with his. Yeah, movie where it's like, like it's like there's dicks, there's boobs. But it's great. It's it's making fun of um, post free love nineteen sixties culture at the time and yeah. kind of honestly, watch it. You will still watch it's this the cat movie. Is not a terrible movie. No, it's one of my it's favorites. So cat. I love it because it was it's it's one of the most successful independent animated films of all time. If you watch it, it's still it's aged incredibly well. Yeah. It's about douchey pretentious college people being douchey pretentious oh, college yeah, people. Oh yeah, the character Fritz is. Yeah, he's Isn't a that like Roger Roll High School? Bad. Okay, you're talking about the the Fritz the Cat movie, right? Yes. Because isn't there a Felix the Cat movie that's, that's terrible? Different. Yeah, Felix the Cat movie's terrible. Yeah. I'm talking about Fritz the Cat, the one with the gray cat, not the black one. Okay, the gray Fritz the cat. asshole. So, so by the way, he did, the Robert Crumb made Fritz the Cat, but Ralph Fox she made that. He also made a movie called Wizards, which is an incredible movie. Um, so he's just like, the is like a VHS movie? board game like. Thing. Isn't that the movie that the beat that debuted? You know, like when uh, they had Super VHS Mario tapes, the uh, the Power Glove. That is not actually that. That is that's, the Wizard. Yeah, that's the Wizard. Okay. Um, Wizards is I a love sequel. the Power Glove. It's so it's so bad. bad. It's good. I don't know. So if people like describing things like like cool or rad things as bad is so. Weird. Never was a good idea. It's totally an eighties. Wait, there's a whole Michael, Michael Jackson song about it. For God's sake, so. who's bad? <laughs> is that your Michael not Jackson bad. noise, Brad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a puppy barking. That's like, it's like, it's like, be quiet. You can't be barking around. 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I really want to play the uh, the Guys, Michael Jackson yeah. Moonraker game because you can you can get a power up that turns you into fucking Mecha Jackson, and you're just basically <laughs> really? invincible and you're shooting lasers. Yeah, that move. That uh, was that was crazy. Moonraker, or, uh, Moonraker, Moonraker, uh, Moonwalker video, and Reefraker. Uh, and uh, that was one of the things in it. I just thought, wow, that's the coolest fucking thing to put a power up like that. And uh, oh, uh, so what is something that you guys really enjoy? Man, but no, don't, hold on. No, I don't so, like things. So, right, but go on. It's, it's something that you really Everything enjoy, but horrible. don't maybe you don't talk about a lot or like really bring up a lot to other people, but you still really like a lot. Okay, that's okay. Because this is not permission to talk about your porn preferences. Fuck. Like, well, <laughs> you, usually I talk about everything I like, so I don't... Anything I don't that you just, like, don't talk about with us that you really like? I'll have I to like think it. about it. I like, okay, uh, me too. retro-futurism. I like, like, seeing... Like, We're writing a retro-futurist radio play yeah, right like, now. There's yeah. Like, there's, like, something about, like, seeing what people in the 50s and 60s thought the future was gonna be like is no, totally kind of goofy. It, there's so, there's such weird shit out there that people thought... Watching, I think, it, I think it's really crazy watching, uh, like, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Like, because all the technology in that is really retro-futuristic, but I also like how he, he, like, calls his daughter on, like, a video chat or something. Something, like, basically like a video phone. Yeah. And it's so weird how that, in that movie, that was, like, really far out. That was space-age technology, like, with space stations and shit and, like, crazy, easy... Travel to just the moon and stuff. And now people are and just that was that and that like and, and yeah. you would equate all of that also with video phone technology. And now we have that talking technology in our fucking pockets. It's well, pretty surreal. Had files on metal. But then of course, like people in the '60s thought, like just like a fishbowl would like be enough to protect you from the vacuum of space with all the art and shit. Hey, you know what I? You know what I like that I don't really talk about? What? Sometimes I. I'm on YouTube and I just watch Blender tutorial videos. Blender oh, is, a, is a 3D program, yeah. and I've never used it in my life. Mental. I've never used Blender before or any 3D program really. And uh, I don't know, just watching Blender tutorials is really interesting. Like I watch a lot of 3D printing things too. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the fuck on. Do you have an Audi belly button? No, it's. I'm just very. Skinny. I just want to. I want to find make like an Audi a... if you put a fish hook in there and yeah, just pull up. Nice. Do you know how they do those? Uh... <laughs> oh shit. Do you know how they do those? Um... Like, you know when you when you have an obscure problem with your computer and you go on YouTube to find it and it's the you know, notepad, unregistered hypercube. By the way, oh, yeah, yeah. shout is out there, to there... all those motherfuckers who've done those videos. Oh, yeah, that's you fine. are a fucking Great. service to humanity. I mean, not, really. well, well, not, not, not the people who do the unregistered hypercam too with the notepad necessarily. No, but the I mean, microphones. If, you, yeah. if you're talking and if you're a fucking 11 year old kid who's Except like. Except the gain on those love, microphones is like through the fucking yeah. roof. I love you. when they're. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't have microphones, so they use notepad. And I love when they. I was watching one where he made like seven different typos, and he kept going back to change it, and he kept doing it over and over again. <laughs> like we get it, what you're talking about, my yeah. man. Just go yeah. through the typo. I can read it. <laughs> um, no, every letter needs to be perfect. No, I just wonder if there's like a master playlist of those on YouTube. Oh, sh probably. Probably. There's a playlist of everything. <laughs> can you imagine if like, like all the amazing computer programmers who work at like Google and Facebook and Amazon or whatever, they're like computers crash and they need to figure it out so they only <laughs> can do it. So they, 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 <laughs> they, just, they lose all of the education they had, all the experience they had, and they have to like scramble on well, these YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm in an IT class right now and the guy that's teaching the class, he's been doing IT for 30 years and he still says, you know, uh, whenever he's describing a problem, you sometimes, uh, this one time he was, he was uh, solving a problem on the projector yeah. with a computer. Um, and he's like, okay, so we just do this, and then uh, we go into this, and it should work. Okay, it's not working. Uh, so let's try it this way. Okay. All right, let's just All right. open up a oh, tablet. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Go. He, he did, and then he's like, okay, let's just Google it. <laughs> and he Googled it. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's how you do that. Oh, um, do it that way. What does that remind me of? Like, uh, I don't know. Like teaching it that way. You helped. I typed one less. What do you mean? Brad. Brad brought it. Brad brought a celebratory bottle of wine. <laughs> it was. I had a glass, and then Brad had the rest. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys want me? I no. kind of wanted something. Let, <laughs> let me yeah. taste it. Let me taste it. There's a little. You have the rest. Of I did not want any. You you did. You ate. You drank the whole thing. There's literally half a sip left in this cup, Brad. Excuse me, guys, but I'm underage. I can't be drinking. Um, Brad, I'm not. Brad's 21 now. I know. You probably know how I'm feeling right now. 
drunk. <laughs> what do you like? Jesus I mean, Christ. what do you think is the most profound change since you've turned twenty-one? Because it's it'll be a ways until Jake and I are twenty-one. Uh, uh, being able to buy alcohol. Definitely being able to buy alcohol. That's the number one. I mean, one do you thing. but do you buy alcohol often enough to like be like, eh? Well, here's the thing. Like, as no, soon as I turned twenty-one, cool. I got like a whole bunch of free beer. You know, like just it's yeah, sitting in the fridge right now, and you know I'm just drinking yeah. that, and you know. It, it really entices I always figured for you guys, because you like going to concerts and stuff, like being able to go to a 21 plus show. No, that's super sick. Yeah, that's really sick too. Yeah. That's so like, not forbidden to do anything have, except buy or rent a car. I can so do anything except rent a car. Our, is that a real thing? You need to be 25. 25. What yeah. kind of fucking yeah. arbitrary limit is well, that? Well, talking about those 21 plus shows, uh, our band our band shares a rehearsal space with an uh, extreme death metal band called Invidiosis. Invidiosis, yeah. You've probably seen them on Decibel actually recently. They re they just released uh, like a split yeah. EP with a uh, really famous uh, and they really death grind. And, and they're they're on their way out to Japan to do a tour there. Yeah. But uh, no, honestly, go check them out. Almost if you're in Japan. Almost all of their shows are 21 plus, and it just sucks because I'm 20. I'm not going to be 21 till the end of next month. But oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Look at you fucking slammered back. Every time yeah. I mention that, you're like, I'm gonna get you drunk. Cause I'm kind of scared now. Cause I feel like I, I might not wake I'm up. I'm just gonna kidnap morning. you at like two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open your mouth and put a fucking bottle of Everclear on your throat. And it's like, there you go, John. Drink it up, boy. Beard boy. Yum, yum, yum. Be a little fish for real. <laughs> Be a John. Be John. Your, your, your 21st birthday present is a liver trip. Here's, here's, <laughs> the, here's the view of a 21 year old that went to Vegas five days after he turned 21. Nice. That should have been really that, fucking that drunk. awesome, yeah. Did you yeah, do that? I did. What I, the fuck? I went for my uncle's bachelor party. He's getting married in November. And, uh, you know, I thought, like, oh shit, I'm just gonna did get Did they drunk. have strippers? I'm get, yeah, they had lots of strippers. They walk around in the no, streets down there, dude. But no, they do. My mom went there and she took yeah. pictures of it just... means prostitution. Yeah, we took no, no, strippers on the street. Hell yeah. It's told there's tons of prostitutes. And, like, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd be, like, drinking all the time, like, super drunk, but... You know, honestly, like, I, I felt my own limits. You became way yeah. more responsible. I, I sort of like had an idea of, did, you know, what it took for me to just get, like, fucking shit-faced yeah. and, like, you know, not, not really, like, enjoy myself <laughs> did you know, Did you guys know that Vegas was basically created by the mob? Really? Oh, no, sure. Like, I yeah. believe it. Like, uh, it's like a mob haven, sort yeah, of? Yeah, like, the middle of the desert? desert. It was basically, like, their, their vacation spot. Why did they choose they the middle of the desert? They must be fucking idiots. Because, because it's out of the way. It's out of the yeah, way. It's it's no one's in a go Yeah, there was just free land nobody I mean, was using. They're like, well, we could... We could get some water here because we could build a dam and then because we're rich. Air mobsters. conditioning, like yeah, they the mob actually were the first ones to come up with air conditioning. Did yeah. you know that? Nobody else have, uh, Thomas else had ever thought about it. I can't mobster. tell if you're BSing me or if that's real. <laughs> no, it's absolutely yeah. true. Nobody does. <laughs> you never, you never believe that. The mob actually did a lot of things, and one of them was including air conditioning because they had these large casinos where they'd have people gamble all day and people right. were really upset. So what they would do is they would create these systems to you know that to cool everything to keep you know. Um, not only have their meetings in like back rooms, but also to keep people gambling in the casinos. Yes. Like this yeah, sounds right. like BS. Well, I don't another know. thing. I'm not fucking kidding. Are, well, Why? you guys, another thing they came up with was a uh, cold fusion. Yes. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Because <laughs> they wanted to light their cigars using nuclear reactors that right. did not create any waste. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. They were they were very eco conscious. These mobsters. Yeah. Um, no, but going back to Vegas and, uh, you know... Oh, we're going back to Vegas again? We're going back to Vegas, John. Damn, right. yeah, I, I mean, want to go back to Vegas. Yeah. Woo! But, uh, Vegas, you know, recently legalized weed. Hell yeah! yeah. Actually, uh, I, uh... Which is I weird. Went... Wait, wait, wait. It's it's just Vegas, right? Or is it Nevada? The whole state? Well, the whole the, state. The whole There's state no Nevada, way a city. Yeah. But, I mean, Vegas oh, yeah, is Nevada. Yeah. Okay. Totally, but... Well, well I, mean, I mean, prostitution's legal in Vegas, so... Legal is in the whole state of Nevada, yeah. Oh, it is? I mean, you okay. get prostitutes in Reno, oh, so yeah. Doesn't stop yeah. prostitution, just makes prostitution safer. The whole, yeah, the whole really. state... Uh, I don't really know really if it either. makes it safer for the prostitutes. Brothels? I, I okay. it's still pretty Le shitty for them. Legality plus brothels is a lot safer. I, I I think strip clubs and prostitutes are really fucked up as an idea. Oh, right? they totally so are, like... but it, they exist, so brothels should exist. Because strip I mean, prostitutes well, are yeah. way scarier. I mean, way if I wanted people to pay me for having sex with them... <laughs> yeah, that's totally it's, 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 it's not uh, a... You can do that, man. But, but, okay, so the whole state of Nevada, you know, they legalized weed, and I went to a dispensary for the first time. Yes. I, shit, dude, like... Did you get dispensed? I, I, I did, actually, yeah. And they I walked around... Vending machines at, like, See, that's weed fucking wild boy shit. shit. I would love to go there, just be like, fucking like, all right, I'm gonna get some weed. Like, like, like what happens is they can only allow, they can only allow a certain amount of people at the same time. Around. 
in like inside the actual dispensary, you know, where like you know that weed like on the shelves and things like that. Weed and uh, basically, like they have like weed they have like this line. They have this uh, long line that you wait in, and basically, you uh, choose the things that you want. You know, while you're up there, you know, with a person like. So it's like a store. That's interesting. Do they have yeah, combo yeah. meals? <laughs> They have the combo. Guys, My friend guys, told me when he went to Colorado. Just taking he said, business model. That's some bullshit. He yeah, said dude. it was fucking wild because he'd just be like driving down the street and it's like, come to Ray J's pot farm. And it's just yeah. like, this dude is yeah. fucking well, like, that's the thing. we got blue lotus. We got blue lotus. This is where legalization is like, is bumping, is in places where weed was like so, like, weed had been decriminalized decades before. So, like, it was such a, it was almost like a part of the culture there, like, in places, I mean, like, in Washington and Oregon and California oh. and Colorado, like, like, Colorado legalized weed in, what, 2012? That's a long, that's a while ago. I mean... It's pretty progressive. So, it's just, it's really, I feel like part of me wants to think that Oh, they, it wasn't that crazy of a transition, but part of me also no, thinks totally it's got to be fucking surreal to think, oh, I'm out of weed. Let me walk down the store. To the fucking store, store to, to buy store weed. To you buy know how many weed. billions of dollars are Let's created? Let's go to the weed like store to get my weed. Cause it's it's you know, funny because, I mean, I... Revenue? Like at Target, they've started uh, putting in liquor stores. And I just thought, okay, is it, are we going to get the inevitable future where... Target liquor store doesn't make enough money, so let's make a Target dispensary and then Dude, sell I, weed out. I'm gonna be real with you. I will oh, not shit. buy weed from Walmart or Target. I fucking refuse to do that. Fuck that. They have a terrible liquor selection at the Target liquor store. What, you've they never, have an okay one. You've no, never, I actually right. really like the display. No one goes there. there. That's the problem. I go there. You never bought weed from behind the Walmart, dude? <laughs> from, the, from that guy? <laughs> no, I can buy a weed inside the Walmart. We're bringing the, the weed from behind the Walmart. Walmart. To into the Walmart. I, I want yeah, like an act that's an actual ad. Like the fucking like instead of buying your weed on the back of the Walmart, we'll put it right in the store and it's just all bright and happy. So it's like, like yeah, dude, just meet me on aisle eighty one. Like That's the but just the idea of no, going to four twenty and being able oh, to pick your strains and being able to like buy all this other really like fucking crazy point. shit is really bizarre. I mean, I've never, I've always wanted to be go to an actual dispensary, but you know, I'm not 21, so womp womp. Hey man. When the time comes, yeah, I'd be, that'd be fun. Cause my family, we go out to Colorado like every now and then, so. See, what if, maybe oh, one I, of these days. I have, I have, I do have one more influence. Okay. Oh my Scary. god. Chug Chug all is, right. I have one more. I have one more. It. And no. that is. Chug um, No. Why not? What is it? Brad. No. Brad. Sit down. What is it? <laughs> what is it? What do you Bradley. mean? Sit Brad down, Brad. 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 I, I don't. It's it's a container of he, marinara. He wants me to drink marinara sauce. Just chug it, Jake. Well, you, do it, you do it on your own anyway. I know, but Brad's making now me do it. Now I think you should. I think it'd be very beneficial to your health. Uh, yeah, there's tomatoes oh, in there. No. So, I guess something that... Tomatoes are very I don't, nutritious. That, I'm, I'm done with man food. This is actually not going to say it. Okay. All right. See it. Oh, it's just uh, my roommate, Eddie, because he, he, he taught me how to... Dress better, um, and we like to hang out a lot. And he's been an influence to me, and a lot yeah. of just like not giving a shit about certain aspects of myself. Anyway, uh, yeah. so something that I like but don't talk about a lot. Okay. Because I want to. Is it okay if I bring that up? That's not okay. I don't know what you're no, talking about. Not. You haven't said anything. Sorry. So we were talking as about. As long as it's not your just fucking porn preferences. I'm, I don't I'm care. not going to talk about my porn You can preferences. even talk about your porn preferences. No, do it. I have yes. line item fucking veto. I'm going to go I Mark like, Dayton on this. What the fuck do you need the fucking head? I'm not going to just talk about it. Anyway, okay, then what are we going to Just get? talk. Um, man, I. I really like. I mean, I'll I don't talk about it a lot, but I. I really like fucking. I forgot how I thought about this, but. I, I really like giant robots, and I love Japanese Power Rangers. Really? I do. Fuck yeah, man. I love, what do you think I about really the Gundam? Like, Sucking Gundam uh, shit? Uh, what do you so think about Gundam? Super Inframan? Gun Gundam, I actually you need to watch super have... <laughs> what is it? Super Inframan. I'll watch it, because... You need to watch that movie. I think I still have that so fucking robot movie. movie. Gotta watch it. My thing, with, really my thing is, like, awesome. Gundam is cool. I didn't... My thing with Gundam is that it's just really long and like I'm, it's it's incredible. Just watch just, uh, Iron Blooded Orphans. There's so many different series, dude. There's so many different series. I just, just watch Iron Blooded cool. Orphans. Fucking the best shit is goddamn. Okay, if you ever okay, if you ever heard of Common Rider, Common Rider is the best shit. Takeda. Common. There you go. There you go. There you go. No, Kancho is when you stick your fingers up okay. someone's ass, isn't oh, it? Yeah. So Common Rider is uh, Takatsu drama, which is like Power Rangers. 
So here, here's a wild thing about Power Rangers. So if you didn't you know this, drift cars, so, uh, it's a Mitchell piece. so <laughs> Power Rangers is a movie a from show. Japan. There is a show from Japan called Super T Sentai, which is a series that's been going on from the seventies. Yeah. So the Power Rangers we got in America was like the seventh or ninth or something. What are you looking at me for? I don't <laughs> like Power Rangers. <laughs> I'm just looking around. But the thing is, is that so? What the thing is, is they took essentially Do you all mean the, the action. live action Power Rangers. Yes. Show? Okay. Yes. So that was already a show. So what they did is they redubbed. They they just made a new oh. scene, a new new scene. Wait, so was there an episode in the Japanese show where they meet up with the Ninja Turtles? Because that's an episode of the Power Rangers. show. No, but oh, what they did, bullshit. what they did was all the se all the fight scenes. Those are Super Sentai scenes. The seat, most of the scenes that are just acted when they're oh. like not in their uniforms, those are original scenes. Oh, that's so funny. here's the fucked up part. Oh. Here's the fucked up. Is there part. like a noticeable difference in quality between like the dialogue scenes no, and, they... the, and the action scenes? Because well, they're wait, I want to hear the fucked up part. So the fuck, here's the fucked up thing. Okay, so <laughs> like, there, so there's Super Sentai, which is the Japanese version. Yeah. And then there's Power Rangers, which is the American version. There's so. Common Rider. Common Rider is something similar, which I'll get into. But so Super Sentai, you know. Anyway, so. There is, you know, Power Rangers is now a national brand, much more than a Super national Sentai. National brand, international yeah. brand. So people, people <laughs> like all over the world kind of know who Power Rangers. A lot of people who Power Rangers. McDonald's is. or <laughs> McDonald's, <laughs> uh, like Pfizer, weed dispensaries. Okay. That sell Power Ranger bongs. So anyway, so so, if you go to Japan or Korea, for example, um, there is Japanese dubbed Power Ranger series. So, oh, what? Really so, so, there are, su so this is Super Sentai, which gets remade and redone for an English audience, which is from a Japanese show, adapted in English, and then they redub it, the English version, back in the Japanese. Why would they do that? Because Power Rangers sells well. Yeah. But... Okay. So, so or, and like, South Korea. Well. So, well, we so, could just rebrand the American thing. And, yeah. So there's Super Sentai and there's Power Rangers. They're, they're different. Wait, so it's like, right. is Ultraman Super Sentai? Though, yes. Uh, it's like Mecha Super Sentai. Do you really Sentai. need to watch Super Inframan? I will. That show's fucking, I'm I'm fucking awesome. Super Inframan. There's, this, is is it there's a scene it's, where he just sits weird. up. After he first turns into Inframan, it's and it similar. cuts like five times. It's like five zooms into him. It's just yeah, that's, that's good shit. Just him sitting that's up. my it's shit, so man. Dumb. So, uh, Kamen Rider oh, is oh, also this series that's been going around since the '70s. And Kamen, Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider is um, pretty much it's a superhero who dresses up in the school costumes, and he beats up supervillains. The guy who rides a motorcycle. Yeah, he rides a fucking motorcycle, and every yeah. single, every Isn't single. Isn't his costume like black or some shit? It depends it, on the series. It changes because there was black. like a green and yellow one too, yeah. and shit. It, they all look like different, like oh. bugs, like mantises yeah. generally. Was so there there's, there's a, a different gimmick. Is there ever a parody series called Ramen Rider? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> John. Ramen. Like a ramen commercial. Oh, oh, there's definitely. That'd be a great idea. I fucking see where you live, John. I'm gonna fucking break in your house. That'd be a good I'm gonna animal. fucking be really shut funny. the fuck up. I'm gonna fucking come to your house. Okay, John, I'm gonna fucking if you had to make a house. shitty, like, native oh, advertisement, <laughs> but using one of your favorite shows, what would you- What would I be the show where and what would you advertise? Where? Okay, I have to make it- I was on Second Life. That sounds okay. Okay, but, okay. So and say you I use- I was like, oh I was just going around and there was this group of people and I was like, Hey, what's up? And they were like- and they were like, oh, hey. And I was like, what, what you talking about? And they were like, we're talking about Common Rider? Fuck like, yeah. I need to watch more Common Rider. But anyway, Second done Common Rider. Common Rider is good. No. Uh, check it out. But John, Common so Rider, oh, it's so oh, if you had to make one. a native advertising thing where you use yeah. an existing piece of pop culture to advertise a product, what would the pop culture be? What would the product be? So for, so for Common Rider Ramen, you have Ramen Rider. Yes. Okay, yeah. I should be do... like Twin Peaks, Starbucks or something, maybe? Uh, I just automatically think you're good. I do a PSA commercial on Gangro culture and have uh, Mr. Popo <laughs> and Jinx. Mr. Popo and Jinx are gonna be the main people informing the public Al about Gangro culture. Gangros haven't really existed since like the fucking nineties, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Just a PSA By the way, on fun fact, cool fucking <laughs> fact, Rockabilly is still alive and well in Japan. Fucking awesome, man. Japan just loves that. It's a trend. Not Psycho Oh, yeah. What? Psycho Billy sucks ass. I don't know the difference. So, Psycho Billy is. I don't know the difference. Watch episode 24 and you'll know. There we go. Did I explain it? Yeah, we talked all about it. I don't need to know about the differences between the Billies. But. The two Billies. The Billies. The Billies. I just think of Applebee's. Like, Applebee's has been doing this weird ad campaign. It's a difference just, between Rocky like, Titans and Teen Titans like, They're go. just, like, referencing, like, ant, like, weird shows or something like that. And it's just... 
It's so out of place for a place. Oh no, Arby's. Arby's is doing that. Oh, video games. Oh, or they're just yes. advertising like they're just like doing like video game references. I think it's anime wonderful. References. It's awesome. It's just bizarre. Also, Denny's. Denny's is a fucking wild. I mean, the thing is, is that like I have this really really weird view on advertisements because my brother, he's a marketing grad and he works for a like a social media company. So he he like runs the Twitter accounts for like Check Cereal and General Mills shit, and like. His job is to make really cringy, like, corporate ads, oftentimes using, like, really dated memes and things like that. Like, shit you guys would find terrible and super cringy. Is he instructed to do that? Yeah. He gets... That's what marketing so, people do. So he can't do, like, new age memes? Uh, no, he can't. That, well, dude, really? I feel like if he did use new age memes, they it would probably gain a lot of traction, but I don't think it would start people buying a bunch of Czech cereal and Czech You'd products. be surprised. Might, well, I, like, old, gain a lot of I'm gonna be honest, right? when I was a teenager and I saw the Old Spice ads, meme, those like really good Old Spice oh, ads, I started buying Old Spice. Cause I just those are really good commercials. They're fucking <laughs> awesome. And they're I mean, I, I, I usually well, you know hate what? commercials because those, they're commercials. The first really ones were the first, Eric, right? the first couple maybe were directed by actually just Eric. Eric Wareheim. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the was, Terry Crews ones you mean? Or the yeah. ones with the... The Terry Crews ones. I like the ones where it's like the suave guy and he's like just jumping from environment to environment. I like when they they brought both of them back for like a like a like a little thing yeah. there. That's I just cool. think all ads are inherently bad because they are. Well, because ones that are the worst, like they're they're stupid things to begin the with. The ones that are the worst, which are most of them, what makes the ones that are worst, which are most of them, is the ones that are you know, they try to be funny and they try to be like your friend, like Haha, we like our um, Arby's roast beef too. <laughs> uh, come down and have some. Do you mean do you mean like the Wendy's memer ad? I mean I mean any commercial. That's so cringy, dude. I mean, any commercial for anything that's like... That We're having a be... fun time! We're having a fun time! We love What do you think about the Popeyes it? ads? That's a commercial for a lot Popeyes of things, ads? Yeah. I mean, they're pretty innocuous. Basically, like, like, everything that, that sells thing. food. What? Do that thing Oh, that... yeah, they are that, like... I think he's talking about more I'm... like the ones where it's like, Guys, doesn't it suck doing the laundry? Oh man, it sucks so bad. Well, oh, why don't you get your fifth cup of coffee today? Ha <laughs> ha. Adult hashtag adulting. Yeah, like I, I hate I hate that idea that like we need to be our customers' friends. We need to be you know. Nah, fuck you. You're selling me shit. We need to be on their level. Here. It's like no, just be just be a business selling something. Dude, if it's you're so, an asshole, I'll buy your shit. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, it depends. It depends on the product, not the person selling it. I don't uh, give if a you're shit. a homeless man, you're talking to me and trying to be my friend. I mean, maybe I'll give you money, but if you're like, man, I need yeah. liquor, I'll be like, all right, there well, you go. For example, for example, <laughs> there's this there's this company that makes uh, actually these really good cheap headphones. They're like twenty bucks. Mono price. They make these headphones that are twenty bucks. Okay. That are like recent the quality, the quality of like an eighty dollar pair of headphones, normally. And so, I bought those like a few years in a row. But like I'm saying, with like the corporation being your friend, like Mono Price isn't my friend. So if there's another company that sells a better head headphones for less, I'm gonna go with them. Yeah. Like, I don't understand yeah. why ads. Are why people like buy certain brands? You mean like why? I think it's yeah, because yeah, they want you to have a. They want you to have like a warm, fuzzy feel. You know, like a nice yeah. relationship when you buy the product. Like there, you, yeah, the I worst guess, ones. I, I won't deny. I have some. I have moms. some brand horiness a bit. Like I really like. It. I love Amazon. Like as much as I think Amazon is going to be the doom of us all. Have you guys seen the fucking Amazon key thing? Where they'll yeah, like be able to like digitally unlock your fucking door and go in your house to deliver your packages. I think that shit is scary. It's what? super. Yeah. The people yeah, who yeah, your I'm probably sure. grossly oversimplifying it. I only ever just saw the ad. I haven't like really read into it, but it's really fucking weird and what creepy. If, what if they just I advertise not that? Anything like that? What if they yeah. advertise that and they were like, our employees can just go into your house whenever they want. Yeah. And yeah. do whatever they want. Because guess what? You buy our products, you yeah. decide the Like, that's the thing. As, like, much, yeah. as much as I hate the idea of Amazon basically becoming, like, E-Corp or Evil Corp from, uh, Bat, like, Mr. Robot or something similar, th there's just a it's convenience cool. factor that Amazon has that Fuck, very few something. other companies just do. Can I, most can I talk? Most companies are fucked. I mean, maybe that has to do with the absolute shithole that is the work culture at Amazon, where it's, like, basically torture working there, but who knows? Yes, what were you gonna say? Fucking, oh my god. Did you guys hear about this? This was a couple, this isn't really relevant news anymore, it's a couple weeks ago, but fucking Marvel Comics no. was going to do a... Marvel Comics. But here's the thing. They were going to do a... Did they were going to do... Yes. 
They Mar did Garfield. The critics of Garfield. So if, if so, Marvel Comics was going to do a um a comic that was sponsored. <laughs> What's the next Avengers movie to say from the creators of <laughs> Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> like Jim yeah. Davis directs it. Like it's all he, he writes it, directs it, produces it, he stars in it, does all the editing, does all the sound work. Pretty sure Jim Davis is Jim Davis alive? He's probably. I hope not. I think he is. He's still really pumping out Garfield. Yeah, he's still alive. He's still so alive. He, he actually confirmed that the you know that you know that comic you said where, where Garfield. Yeah. I was yeah. just gonna talk about. That. I yeah. saw that. Okay, so there's a comic where oh it's God. it's three panels. Oh my God. It's three panels and John walks into the frame and I don't know what the first panel says but in the second panel he drinks this coffee cup no and then the lady's like oh looks like you're gonna give birth to a healthy litter of cuppies our healthy oh, litter of puppies. A healthy Cuphead. litter of puppies. No, see, Cuphead. Cuphead. he drank Cuphead. from a coffee mug, right? The joke is he drank from a coffee mug, so he's gonna poop out little mugs, right? No, no. okay. Anyway, no, that's okay, not yeah. the joke. Everybody thought the joke was he drank jo dog semen. It looked that way. It was what? really was... like what else could it be? I don't know what the Obviously. joke is. Well, you drink something. It probably has something to do with the first panel that you can't remember. No, it was just like he's like. Oh, he's like, hey Liz, how about a date? I'm a, like, I'm a man who drinks coffee or something. I'm yeah. and then he drinks okay. it, and then like he's like, oh, thanks for the co he says like, thanks for the coffee, baby, or something, and then drinks it, and then she's okay. like, well, congratulations, Mr. Arbuckle, you're gonna give a her belt birth to yeah, a healthy John of puppies. Arbuckle. Fuck yeah. that dude. He's he actually is in a loving relationship with with the, with, with her now. I actually saw that Jim I saw Jim Davis explain it online, and he yeah. basically said that it was like uh, a high sort of, it was sort of a dog. drink to help like uh, pregnant dogs, yeah. you know. So like, his his whole idea for the punchline, his whole idea for the punchline supposedly was that he just assumed that people would know that about. So he when when he was growing up, he lived on a farm or something, yeah. and they give the cows this uh, dietary supplement so that they'd be more fertile. And, fertile, yeah. Uh, fertile. And so he the assumed plant, that there was something uh, similar for animal. dogs. So that's what was in that coffee cup was a dietary supplement to make that's not even his, funny to make his male dog mm -hmm. more fertile. So nice. so that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. So he just assumed that people would know that there's a dietary supplement that cows have and that there'd probably be one for dogs instead of it just that's being so dogs. So weird. Yeah. That does not. I, I just like how uh, he he actually uh, a fan sent him a, like a like a pick like a, you know just the whole panel like frame for him to sign, and he actually oh, wrote on, he wrote on there like this is canon. Jim Davis. Yeah. I mean, I I was curious okay. About I found it. Yeah, saying, it's pretty bizarre. What, what were you saying? I want to know. Marvel? I want to know. What about Marvel? Oh, okay. So about Marvel Comics. Um, so Marvel Comics did a. Um, they were going to, but got it canceled. We're doing a collaboration that was paid for by a military contractor. This isn't fucking shadowy shit. Oh, this is this the Northrop Grumman contract? Yes. Hey, guess, yes. Where, guess where my other brother works? <laughs> for McDonald Grumman. That makes oh, me upset. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, keep going. It's pretty gross. So they but did. but they did they didn't fucking think about this. So this literally, I'm not trying to be full X Jones here, but I realized that Marvel Comics is owned by Disney. Yeah. Disney was getting their their cartoons and comics supposedly Sponsored endorsed and paid for by... by someone who makes drones and missiles Wait for militaries. Wait a second, Disney yes. owns Marvel Comics. Yes, I thought yeah. the idea was that Disney just bought their movie stuff. Oh no! Wait, no, I think that's right. Yeah, because I Never thought that's mind. what it was. I thought Marvel Comics was like, okay, right. let's keep well, our comics. Well, a comic... Marvel Studios is Disney owned. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. my bad. They did still make Garfield. They did still make Garfield. They now own Garfield. Really? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are they going to put them in the next event? Are gonna make I hope so. A Tale I mean, of Two Kitties 2? I guess they're going to... Here's the thing. Fuck Tale of Two Kitties, right? Because here's the thing. America. Okay. Okay. Tale of Two hold Kitties. On, hold on, hold on. No, I want to talk about Garfield. So Tale of Two Kitties okay. in America. Tale of Two Kitties. In Britain, it was called a way better name. The Prince and the Pauper, which was way better. Really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. But in this Northrop Grumman comic, like, is there very explicit references to Northrop Grumman? Yes. Or, like, that are sympathetic yes. to the defense There's industry? There's like... three panels where all Garfield says is, Northrop Grumman <laughs> is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. He just says Northrop Grumman three times. Yeah, Northrop Grumman. It was on, and then drone, yeah. he appears in the mirror. <laughs> it was on the cover, and they were going to use their products. The Avengers were going to use their products in the fucking... Really? Yeah, oh, that's so kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. kind of evil. Okay, here's the thing. I think native advertising, which is essentially what that is is kind of gross and disgusting it's disgusting but gross at the is. same time there's I don't know I'm a big here to free market capitalism they can kind of just do what they want if they're giving them enough money I don't know 
Oh, well, they're kind of paying people to to make to make selling nukes and bombs. Yeah, but it's it's, cool it's an energy. industry. I mean, it's yeah, it's one. Obviously, it's it's easy to say, oh, military industrial complex, it's fucked up. I'll be the I'll, it I'll is. join you right in on that line. But at the end of the day, it's just an industry buying other ads on shit. You know, it's not that crazy. I mean, it's it, not that crazy. I have an idea. I, I'm on paper, I guess. But in practice, on paper, I guess no. Maybe it's a little more but it's up. fucking nuts to see. Captain America oh, goes, oh yes, I love using my drone. The thing is, is like, usually product placement that's is the like, thing. I want to know how, I want to know how on yeah, it's, the it's, nose it's, it's it not, is. Like, it's not that's... like, it's not like they're not eating hostess cakes, they're fucking using nukes. It's like, not, it's kind of weird. It's not Coca-Cola or dude, I, Folgers. I honestly it's think though that, nukes, dude. that, that like, okay, yes, mil, like, middens, like, Kim advertising <laughs> shit is pretty gross, but I, I get more disgusted by like, just, blatant product placement in movies and TV shows and stuff. Like American Idol judges having those big fucking Coke glasses. I get, like, I get put up by any like, product placement. Really. Yeah, product placement sucks. I mean, it makes sense to show logos on things that people are using if it's set in the real world. Kind of that thing. is what I agree with. If I'm watching that a movie that's set in the real world, they're drinking like... You know they've actually been going I, back into old shows and like changing ads that the characters walk really? by digitally into like different things? Yeah. What? Who? For what? Why? Just for movies and TV shows, like for How I Met Your Mother, that they makes changed really like ads like are you serious? outside of a movie theater into like more modern movies and things like that. Yeah. That's really fucking retarded. Why would you do that? Big money. My and it, people are going to pay attention. them to do that shit. You know? That's mm. how it goes. It's tacos. That's oh, I was going to say this yeah. earlier, but I just really like the idea I don't of an, an Amazon employee coming into your house and just like opening up your fridge, taking out some bacon, and just like fucking cooking it on your stove. <laughs> I get it. Like home invasion is now legal. You wake up and they're like in their underwear just frying bacon on a pan. They still, oh, have their, you, they still have their shirt on. They have like their fucking like Amazon delivery yeah, but shirt they, on. But they, they have they, no pants. They, they just have, have no whitey tighties and they're making bacon and eggs on your stove. And then of course there's the doom Doomsday scenario where it's, they like ransack your home and you try to complain to Amazon. And you say, "Oh, I have video footage of these people, but your camera was owned and been I, bought by Amazon, Amazon, and the server was run by Amazon." Yeah. <laughs> no, what if what he if, goes what up if, and he's just like, "You want your cock ring?" No. Just like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like two years Got my after cock ring on. Two years after that walk-in program starts, and you you're looking on Amazon Did one you day. Actually, make a cock ring. You're looking no, on Amazon not one make day. A cock ring. Not a clay. So you're looking on Amazon one day, and you're like, "Hey, <laughs> you made a cock ring." You're looking on Amazon one day. <laughs> you said this. <laughs> Let me say it for a sixth time. You're looking on Amazon one day and you're like, hey, that's, that's, that looks like... You're looking on Amazon one day and you're like, hey, that looks like a lamp I had in my bedroom. I've been missing that thing for two weeks. That's weird, huh? The joke is that they're selling stuff from your house on their website. I, I love Black Mirror. <laughs> I love Black Mirror so Black Mirror much. Episode. That's next season. Anyway, like it's been Amazon a fun Amazon. 25th uh, episode. Some of us have partied a little hard. Uh, well, fuck it, we've all partied pretty hard. I'm pretty no, drunk right It's now. a very celebratory event. Look out for more episodes in the future. Look out for the bus, it's coming. Look out. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out.